face. I'm gonna fix my reflector goggles. I'm gonna fix them and I'm gonna make them better. And they're gonna be awesome. They're already awesome. I'm gonna make them even more awesome. Oliver! 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 I'm gonna fix my reflector goggles. Do not look behind you. This whole place is a horrible mess. I got paint, and I have a hinge. Actually, like four hinges, but I only need one. Dust my work surface a little bit. One day, man. One day I'm gonna have a bigger, nicer workshop. So here are my reflector goggles. I did have electrical tape on them. The electrical tape is gone and I, I put on this yellow, I don't even know what kind of tape this is, I just found it at the college in a cabinet. They've always been attached by this, uh, this thing, which I guess is meant for hanging things in the store. And the issue with that is, well it just, I don't know, it just moves around a whole lot and tape obviously is not great, it's not cool and it's not durable, so I want to replace that with an actual hinge. And that would be much more sturdy. Good night, this tape is tough. This is tough stuff. It's almost like a bandage type tape, I don't know. Step one is gonna be to cut these off, sand things down. Ooh, oh! I think I can just pop them out. Yes! Dude, yes! This is beautiful. I can just pop them out, spray paint these. I feel like that opens up a lot more possibilities. I could potentially do some really cool versions of this later on. I could sandwich things in here. There we go. I don't any wire cutters. I can't find any. I guess I'm just gonna use the knife. Oh wait, wait, wait. I have, I have these. I don't know if I can get. Oh wow. Okay, that actually works really, really well. So now I need to sand down the little noobs. Isabel. Isabel. This is not where you belong, huh? This is not your place. Look, look what I'm making. I'm making reflector goggles. They're gonna be epic. Reflector cat. She's not in the mood for this. She just wants out. All right, come on. Yeah, I'd love to just use my carving tool for this, but the carving tool, if you use it on uh, plastic, it can actually just heat it up and melt the plastic, and then you've got plastic stuck all over your rotary carving bits.
I also just kind of need to give it a general sanding all over so that the surface is not perfectly smooth because we want the, the paint to bond to it very well. I'm going to wash them, get all this dust off. They're clean. I have wire too, and I'm gonna use this to hang them from a branch so that I can spray them. My brother's here. He has a smoothie. Oh, there's already a piece of wire already separate, so I'm just gonna break this in half. So I'm just gonna hook this through here so that there's minimum stuff in the way of the paint, and I will loop this over a branch in the woods, and we will do our spray painting. It's kinda like making earrings, isn't it? Isn't that how earrings work? I can, I can make reflector earrings, dude. Here, film me. You get that? Where is it? When you're doing something like this, you want to use quick, even strokes, very short strokes, like that. Get a nice even coat. There we go. Taking a little bit. All right, we'll let that dry for a bit. We want to do thin coats with spray paint if you want the best results. Nice, dude. My brother apparently has an idea to dry them faster. Oh. Okay, don't, no, oh, no, let's not do that. I appreciate the thought, though. <sighs> How long is that battery left? Till you die. I bequeath to you once again the, the visual We're gonna find out if this is flammable. Sweet. That's party. He likes fire. That's actually super cool. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Cut the grass on fire, dude. <laughs> Do it, bro. <laughs> you gonna burn your camera? No. Can you imagine hitting a deer like that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro. One last coat. Let's do this. Done. Yeah, that was a little bit. That was a little bit too much, man. I'll oh, cut it. I, oh, yo, you better cut that. I will cut it. I like it crispy. <laughs> He's gone. Cause I had, I had like, there was like fingernail back here, I'm still running. And then there was a piece over here that was disconnected. It was pretty big. And then there was a little piece right here. <laughs> This turned out really well. Now it is kind of, uh, it's rough. It's not smooth at all. I'm wondering if I should put some kind of protective coating on it and just kind of rubbing it to see if it comes off. I am seeing like glitter on my hand. I don't know if it's gonna keep doing that or if maybe there's just a little bit on the outside that'll come off and then it'll be done. No, I think it's just, uh, it's just little rough bits on the very outside of the paint, especially because I put on such a thick coat. But once that wears away, I think it's gonna be fairly durable and and, I mean, they don't really take much of a beating. They just go on my face. I'm not planning to actually go out and fight crime with these things on, though that would get the views. Where's the things? 
Aha. Here are the lenses. Okay, so the next step is, I guess, to put the lenses back in. It's just gonna pop them in, and then I need to put the hinges on. The reason I'm putting the lenses in before the hinges on is because these screws are long enough to go all the way through the silver, so they're actually gonna go into the red a little bit. I feel like I'm about to set a bone. That's how it works, right? You just... Don't try setting bones at home, kid. Kids. I am a trained unprofessional. Oh, it doesn't look scratched. Looks like it took the beating. Well, okay, there's a little bit of scratchness. Yeah, right along the edge there, you can see it's scratched off a little bit and you can see a bit of the white. I don't think this one got scratched at all. Nope, there's just a tiny bit. It's very subtle. I don't think I'm even gonna touch it up because there's a risk of getting paint on the red. You really can't tell unless you're actually holding the things and looking for it. And eventually in the future when I actually have the money to go buy another spray can, maybe I'll make a really uh, amped up version of these. What I'd really like to do is make a pair that's exactly like the regular pair, the future regular pair, except with the lens popped out, spray painted bright green, and then popped back in so that I can do special effects. Not that I have any like particular plans for these anyway, I just kind of pop them out whenever I feel like making something weird. Alrighty then, all I need to do now is add the hinge. Oh yeah, that, that came open real clean. Do I have a, I think I have a container for these actually. I won't lose them. I wonder if it would be a good idea to try to curve the I gotta, I gotta, I need to bend this so that it follows the curvature and I'm just hoping that that will not interfere with the function of the hinge and I don't think it's going to be an issue. Okay, that is more perfect. So I'm just gonna hold this like this and make a little dot with the sharpie and a little dot over here. There we go. Same thing on the other goggle and a boom slightly worried about like causing crackage in the uh the red plastic which is much more brittle this plastic is not very brittle at all i do not think it will be an issue i don't know if my drill can actually close this tightly now that i think about it it cannot, it cannot close this tightly. Oh, well. Nope, that'll work. You wanna drill a hole about the, uh, the size of the core of the screw, not the thread, not, not the threaded part. And this is the smallest drill bit I have. Nice and easy. Find the driver, the driver of miniature screws. Aha. Okay, here we go. Make sure everything's still popped into place. Ah. Hmm. They're not quite gonna fold all the way after this. I guess they would have if I had actually put the screws closer to the edge, but I didn't, and I'm not gonna go back and fix it because I, I really can't. Well, that's a little bit frustrating. I guess that's something to keep in mind for next time. I don't know why I like these so much. They're just cool. I've never really tried to do any kind of costume design or cosplay or whatever. I don't know if you've noticed, I don't really like to uh, copy other people's characters or licensed works. I don't want a costume of a character that already exists. I'd rather create my own. Reflector Man isn't really much of a character so much, so much as it's just me wearing cool goggles that I made and talking in a funny voice and goofing off. Okay, I'm stripping these screws out a little bit. Easy goes it. All right, that adds a little bit of a steampunk feel to it because for one, it's an actual hinge with actual screws and it's actual metal. And for two, we now have two different shades of silver on the things. Hmm, they're not quite 
straight. Oh. One's looking a little bit more down and one's looking a little bit more up. I don't know if you can see that. I don't think it'll be an issue. The real thing about this hinge, well, I mean, it adds stability and strength and it's no longer literally a piece of electrical tape holding them together. But the white things that stuck out before, they, they separated the goggles quite a bit. And now with the hinge, they're much closer together. So I'm hoping they'll look cooler on my face and they also, before they would like, bend like this much around my face. So now hopefully it'll be a little bit more like this. All that is left now is to find the rubber band and put it back. I promise you this is not black magic. It is not an impossible knot. I'm gonna need a new strap eventually too. And there we go. How do I look? You tell me, because I literally can't see myself in, oh, I can see myself in in the, okay, ow. They are closer to my face now and I can feel my eyelashes rubbing against the lenses and it's quite painful. But you know, you gotta sacrifice for your art, it's worth it. Am I look, do I look like I'm looking up? I look like I'm looking up. Where are you? Wait, that's the lint? Okay. Right there. Well now I can't see the screen. I wanna be able to look at you while I look at the screen while it, so that I'm, oh. There it is. Wait, is that the actual screen? Oh, I can see straight. Nope, that's the lens. What? I almost, it's really hard because there's like a camera here and there's a camera up here. Wait, oh, there's one down here too, great. Okay, so now I'm pretty sure I'm looking at you and I can see myself right down here. And I think these goggles look pretty stinking good. Okay, I'm gonna give you a side view. Give you another side view. Give you a little bit of a close up. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm actually closer than I thought. I can see the screen again. Oh. It does honestly make me sad that they don't fold up all the way anymore, but that's just more incentive to make a third version. One day, someday. Give me ideas. Well shoot, make your own. Send me pictures, very simple. Mm -hmm.